Hello my dear friends and specially ICC 2022 batch. This MCQ video is on important Java topic that is typecasting and type promotion. This is not only one of the important topics in section A but this is equally important in the programming section that is section B also. The questions in this session are arranged in such a way that every bit of typecasting and type promotion will be automatically covered. Students, you can also follow eShiksha's different playlist for more ICEC Java topics. It has almost every important topic properly organized under different playlists. So here we go with the 10 most important questions on typecasting and type promotion and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification icon for all my upcoming videos on different topics of Java. So here is the first question fill in the blank dash x is equal to within parenthesis you have int and after that 16.0 f if you have a suffix of f that means it is a float value and on the left hand side you have got int in a round bracket that means you are forcing float value to be converted into integer and to be stored in x therefore what would be the data type it can obviously go in int right okay now if i store 16 if i have converted to integer it means integer data it can go in double also integer data can also be stored in float data also float data type also it means that it can be stored in double int or float so the right answer would be all of the above so question number two is int a is equal to within single quotes capital z you have to say whether it is correct or not students let me tell you that it is a correct statement as you can store a character in in data type or you can store an integer in char data type question number three is int a is equal to 16.0 is it a correct statement or not you have to say that the answer is false as because all of you know double takes 64 bits and in takes 32 bits so you cannot adjust 64 bits in 32 bits therefore you will come across an error what kind of error that is loss of precision question number four is car a is equal to capital a in single quotes and b is equal to in single quotes capital b system dot out dot println sum is equal to a plus b in parenthesis now if you execute what will be displayed all the four options are given but the correct answer is sum is equal to 131 how if you see sum dot out dot print ln, the message as it is will be printed sum is equal to a plus b as because it is in parenthesis a is capital a that is 65 ascii code ascii value rather and B's ASCII value is what? 66. So if you add 65 and 66, you will get 131. So the correct answer is sum is equal to 131. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज कैर ए इज इक्वल टू इन सिंगल कोड्स ए एंड इन बी यू हैव कैपिटल बी सिस्टम डॉट आउट ऑफ प्रिंट एल इन सम इज इक्वल टू दिस इज सेम एज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन बट इन प्रिंटिंग स्टेटमेंट यू आर प्रिंटिंग द मैसेज डिसाइड दैट प्लस ए प्लस बी द राउंड ब्रैकेट इज मिसिंग हेयर नाउ इफ यू एग्जीक्यूट दिस वॉट विल बी डिस्प्लेड द राइट आंसर वुड बी सम इज इक्वल टू ए बी नाउ वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग आफ्टर मैसेज वॉट एवर डेटा यू प्रिंट ओके इफ इट इज नॉट इन ब्रैकेट इट विल बी कॉन्कैटिनेटेड सो सम इज इक्वल टू इज अ स्ट्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट डिसाइड दैट यू आर प्रिंटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ए विच इज कैपिटल ए and decide that you are printing you are printing the value of b which is capital b so the right answer is sum is equal to a b in capital so question number 6 is a is equal to car a is equal to in single quotes a and in b you have space bar you are printing the message sum is equal to a plus b is in parenthesis and that value is getting typecasted that is you are forcing it to be a character so a is what capital a 65 and b is space that is 32 65 plus 32 would be 97 97 the character of 97 is small a so the right answer is sum is equal to small a the first one question number 7 is int a is equal to 65 comma b is equal to 33 system dot out dot print ln a plus b is in parenthesis whatever the value is you are forcing it to be a character so if you execute this what will be displayed A is 65, B is 33. That is 98. 98 would be for which character? Small b. Okay. Question number eight is float d is equal to 112.890. System dot out dot print ln d. So here you have the four options. Which one is the correct answer? The right answer here is it will display an error. The third one. Why? Because you are trying to store double data in a floating type variable d. So you will come across the error called loss of precision. Question number nine is int num is equal to twelve point thirty six. You are forcing it to be an integer type. That is the reason you have given int in parenthesis. Okay, so this kind of statement is an example of what implicit conversion number one, number two explicit conversion, number three type promotion, number four is none. the right answer is explicit conversion question number 10 is double num is equal to 12.36f suffix of f means float value you are storing a float value in a double data type so what is this actually it is an example of implicit conversion explicit conversion type promotion or number 4 1 or 3 the right answer is number 4 it can be called implicit conversion or type promotion question number 11 is what is the other name of implicit conversion widening number 2 automatic conversion 
cohesion number 3 and number 4 is all the right answer is number 4 and the last question that is question number 12 is car c is equal to 67 system dot out dot print ln c so if you display what will be displayed all of you should know this answer if you store an integer in a character variable so it will store the character so 67 means capital a is 65 capital b is 66 capital c is 67 so you are actually storing 60 uh, not 67 but capital c in a variable call c so if you print c capital c will be printed so number 3 is the right answer capital c will be printed thank you so much for watching this video keep watching and keep learning we will be back soon with another set of interesting questions from this chapter So keep learning thank you so much